Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I thought we'd do a bit of a vlog today as I've got a few bits to show you and I just fancied filming a vlog. So I'm going to start this one off with a little Poundland haul and I've got a few bits to show you that were sent to me and then we'll be heading off to Leeds a little bit later because I'm doing packed lunch tomorrow. So I just thought it would be nice to vlog today and have a little catch up. So before we get into it, make sure you've got a drink on the go. I've got my Wi-Fi coffee and my bed mug of coffee. <laughs> I still need another coffee. And um, it's quite hot, so I'll hold it by the handle before I burn my fingers. And yeah, make sure you've got one too. Let me know in the comments down below what you're having. We'll have a quick sip, and then we'll jump in and start this vlog with a little Poundland haul. A cheeky little Poundland haul with a few nice bits of homemade I've got to show you. So quick sip, and let's go. By the way, I'm in such a good mood today because I feel like spring is finally here. We've woken up to completely different weather than we had last week. So if you saw my previous vlog, which was a weekly vlog, you will have seen that we had snow here in London, it was freezing cold. And today I'm looking outside now and it's a blue sky with just a few little white clouds dotted about. So I am loving life today. And I'm also loving life because I've got some things to show you from the land where everything used to be one pound as well. Starting off with my trusty favorite. This is actually what I popped in for. It's one of the deodorants and I've shown this hundreds of times on this channel, I would imagine. It's the Shure Quantum Dry 48 Hour Protect. Can't go wrong with that. It stops me sweating and I don't smell when I use that one, so that's good. <laughs> but let's get into the bit, which I think you're going to really like, and that is some of the homeware that I've picked up. Now, actually, starting off with some plants because Poundland seem to have got their garden stuff coming into store. So they have seasonal stuff, don't they? And they seem to have their garden items coming in. And I spied some real cactuses. So these are one pound each. They also had a few succulents in store as well. So I picked up a few. I managed to kill a few of my cactuses. I'm not sure how I did that, because I don't think you meant to water them, but a few of them just got to a point where they were just looking very unhappy and quite brown. So it's nice to get a few new ones. And also I'm gonna be doing some new DIYs. We're gonna do some brand new spring decor. Decor? Um, that's coming soon. So stay tuned, because a few of the bits here I'm going to show you will be DIY projects as well. So I'm very excited to get cracking with those. But yeah, they've got these cactuses in. So I went for a couple of options because they're always nice when you have a few different styles together. So that one's rather spiky. Well, in fact, they all are. I managed to spike my finger with these when I reached into the bag. But it's handy that they come in this plastic. That does make it much handier. So yeah, this one, which is a little bit more furry, but they're still still very spiky. And then this one, which is kind of like that balloon style shape. I've forgotten what you call them, but uh, yeah, this one's got that kind of shape to it as well. So really nice, great for one pound each. And they also had some succulents. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this one is a little money tree as well. So hopefully this will grow quite nice. I'm just trying to put these down upright so soil doesn't spill everywhere. But how about that? Really nice hay, so I'll get that potted up and we'll see how that gets on. I'll give it a little bit of plant food as well, I think. But I was very impressed to see those in Poundland. I don't think I've seen cactuses in there before. Not real ones, anyway. They do the little plastic ones, don't they? And then I spied this, which I haven't seen before. I think this is new as well. And I was really impressed with this. So this is a plant pot from their Pep & Co home range. And it just says metallic plant pot with stand. And this was three pounds which I think is incredible value. It's a nice big size, isn't it? And how about that? Let's just show you these quickly while we're here. I picked up these in Lidl and I've put them in this container that I actually got from a local florist around Christmas time. And I think I'll continue to keep doing that, just replanting things in this season. So I really like the pot. But yeah, these were just like a couple of quid or something and they're coming out now. And these always smell incredible, don't they? Um, hyacinths, aren't they? So yeah, I'll keep you posted on those. I'll take a snap for Instagram where I'll show you on here how they're getting on. But yeah, for three pounds, for three pounds, I don't know what's going on with me today, um, I thought this was brilliant, or four euros, depending on where you shop this. And it just says plant pots, warning, keep away from fire, okay. Um, this in store was not pushed down, so they looked a bit like they weren't great because the plant pot wasn't pushed down into position. But I pushed it down and now it's nicely jammed in. It was all kind of wonky in the shop. So don't let that put you off if you see them, because I think, yeah, really nice solid piece. Now question for you, do I have a go at changing this or do I leave it as it is? I mean, I really like it as it is, so I might, I might not. I might just keep this one 
as it is because usually I just spray things gold anyway <laughs> and it's already gold and the, the black legs are quite nice aren't they but if you've got any thoughts let me know if you think I should change it at all I would be intrigued to know what you think but I've got a couple of bits that I am going to be using for DIY projects the first one being this thing which says glam fund and it's a money box but it also kind of reminded me of a picture frame so this is part of I think their Mother's Day range yeah it must be and it says money box on the back this was one pound so good price inside it's got a back that you can pull off and it's glittery and then it's got a glass that is actually glass um front on it with the text now i had a little go at taking the back off and this text i think will scrape off or i might have a go at it with some white spirit or nail polish remover or that sort of thing gonna get rid of that and stay tuned to see what i do with this because i've got a nice little idea for this one that i think you'll really like and if i get it up before mother's day it could be a good alternative gift idea for that as well. So yeah, pretty nice that for one pound. Not bad as it is anyway. And then I also picked up these, which I think are kind of in that same range, but I've also seen these in store before. So maybe they're just mixing and matching them in and out of different ranges throughout the year. And these are tea light holders you get two, and it just says light up your life. And on the back label, it says tea light holders, because I like to always check that bit in case it says something else. But these are kind of like a nice, Nice round shape, aren't they? And also I quite like the design of these. So absolutely, perfectly harmless as they are, but they're not really my vibe with this dusky pink. I will be changing these up a little bit. And yeah, I'll be sharing with you what I do with those. And then I got a couple of these things, again for a DIY project that I've got in mind, and I'm really excited about the thing that I'm gonna do with these. I think you'll love it. So do stay tuned. I'm very excited about these DIYs. I think I can actually get them filmed quite soon. So I'll, maybe I'll get those up as my next video. I probably will. And my new upload times, just so you know, are 7.30 p.m. UK time on Wednesdays and 9 a.m. on Sundays. I just went into YouTube and looked at kind of when people are more likely to be watching my videos in like the analytics bit and that's what it told me. So hopefully that's all right for all of you. I know that everyone watches at different times anyway, but that's, if you want to watch it fresh straight up, that is the time when you can catch it as it goes live. But of course, with YouTube, the videos just hang about, don't they? So you can watch it anytime, so you won't be missing it. But you might miss it if you're not subscribed. So do if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to click on the notification bell as well. And that'll tell you when I've uploaded so you can watch it in your own time. And then the last thing, is it the last thing? Yeah, this is the last thing that I picked up, and it is this photo frame, but it's got nothing on the front because it's just got the little pegs, so there's no glass or plastic in there. It's only got the cellophane on it. Then it's got three pegs. It says, happy days. This one says photo frame, so I guess you could just stick a photo onto that if you wanted to. And then it says fun times here as well. And I thought with this as well, another little DIY idea, and I thought good for a quid really nice and yeah all sorts of things you could do with one of these I thought that was quite good they previously had a larger one of this that I've DIY'd many times I've done loads of different things with it over the months um I think the last one that I did with that one was at Christmas time I made something but yeah slightly smaller one I think I actually prefer this size so yeah I'll be sharing with you what I do with all of those. Yeah, hopefully in my next video, if I get on, get on with it, get cracking. <laughs> and then the next thing I wanna show you, we're gonna move on to this package that was sent over to me from Glossybox, who you may have heard of. They do monthly subscription boxes of beauty products. So you can sign up. I'm gonna link them in the description box for you. And you can sign up and get a monthly box of nice treats to try out. So if you're interested in trying out new brands, new products, it can actually work out kind of a good value way to do that because a lot of the things that they pop in these boxes have got quite a high RRP price tag on them. And so, yeah, it's a really nice way to sort of learn about new brands or try out skincare products that you may not have done before. They don't often have men's boxes, but every now and again, they will do an exclusive grooming kit for men, which is what they've sent me over. Now I should say straight away that this one has already sold out, so I don't wanna show you all this and then you go on and try and buy it. So if you're not interested, feel free to skip on the vlog and go on to the next bit if you're not interested to see what's in here, because it has sold out, but you can sign up and you can also um, keep an eye on their site when these grooming boxes do get released if you are interested in getting one next time they bring them out. I think they're kind of seasonal or around kind of special occasions. I think this one was released in time for Valentine's Day. I think it sold out really quickly because it's got some great stuff in here. Let me just whiz through it. I'll try and not keep this too long because I know that 
we're not all interested in this stuff, but I do want to show you what sort of stuff you would get in one of these boxes, just so you've got an idea of it. And also, if you've tried any of these things, then you can let me know if you found them any good. So the first thing is this Nivea Men Skin Energy Face Wash Gel with caffeine. Caffeine's good for a little wake-me-up, isn't it? I have tried lots of Nivea products. I think they're really good, so I'll look forward to trying that one. And then they've got in here a full size of the Bulldog Skin Care for Men. This is the original Stubble Moisturiser. So that's interesting. I guess that's for after shaving. I look forward to giving that a go, because I shave kind of like the lower part of my neck here and then a little bit around there, so it might be quite nice to use after doing that. Then we've got here a Fudge Professional Matte Head Moldable. Is it a clay? It just says Sculpt. Let's have a little peek at what that one's like. Get stuck in. Let's do a satisfying noise for you <laughs> when you first peel it. Was that satisfying? Maybe not. Okay, this one is like, almost like a cream. I don't get on brilliantly with these. I sometimes think that they make the hair look a little bit greasy, if I'm completely honest with you. But I'll give it a go, and if it's any good, I'll recommend it, obviously. But usually with things like this, I find that they can go a little bit greasy, and then they don't keep the hair in place that well. But I can't say that because I haven't tried it. That might be amazing. And then we've got a 417. This takes me back. Time Control Advanced Anti-Wrinkle Eye Cream, which is always welcome in my life. <laughs> so I'll look forward to using this one. Now 417, I feel like I had a really lovely fragrance from them years ago that I got in boots for an absolute bargain price, but I've forgotten what that was called. Maybe it was just called 417. But let's have a little go with this. I've heard that you're meant to use these fingers if you do eye cream, the reason being you've got less uh, power in them, so you're not gonna like damage your under eye. Doesn't really smell of anything, but I guess that doesn't matter, does it? So that's that's me sorted. <laughs> Do I already look younger? And then we have a fragrance from Lacoste. So they'll often send a little sample-sized fragrance in here. And this one is their Eau de, La Eau de Lacoste Blanc Pure. Give this one a quick sniff with you while we're here in case you're interested in this as well. I've just been naughty and rubbed it. You're not meant to do that, but it was trickling down my arm. My friend Sarah, the perfume pro, would be frowning at me right now. This, I'm gonna dab it. Because it doesn't have the spray action, it's quite hard to, to distribute on the old wrist. Quite fresh, quite nice. It hasn't blown me away, I have to say, but it's not, it's not bad at all. Just quite fresh, a little bit soapy. So um, yeah, something you'd wear during the day, I think, and it might be quite a nice one for going into summertime. So yeah, often they um, develop as well, don't they? So that might, might change with a bit more wear. And then the British, the, sorry, the Great British Grooming Company Exfoliating Face Scrub with Volcanic Ash. That's a good size, that one as well. That's 100 mil. And then we have a Philorgia Meso Mask. Fly Nasal Inhaler for Party, Work and Sports, Arctic Blast. So what's this all about then? It says, Fly is a new way to refresh yourself. Arctic Blast fills your mind and lungs with the natural, freshest kick of cooling clarity. Interesting. Almost kind of like a herbal kind of thing, where you breathe it in and it just makes you feel a little bit more refreshed and awake, I guess. I'll look forward to trying that. I usually like things like that if you need a little bit of a calm down or a, a regroup. Yeah, some of the smell can help you with that, can't it? So there we are. Now this is exciting. There is a Glam Go in here, and this is the Thirsty Mud. Glam Glow is really pricey, isn't it? So I'll look forward to trying this one. I've heard good things about their masks, but they're very expensive, so I've never bought one <laughs> for myself because they are pricey. But it's great that they've included enough to do a face mask in here. And then we have a face cream. This says for all skin types, for use day and night from e-cooking men. So again, a really generous size with that one. And then we have Bespoke London Citrus and Vertiver Body Spray. That sounds lovely. Give that a little blast. Yeah, that's really nice. I like that a lot. Body sprays for me don't 
stop me sweating, so I need to use a deodorant, but then it's quite nice sometimes just to have a little bit of fragrance with the body spray, isn't it? And then 1881 Percy Nobleman Beard Conditioning Oil. So loads of good things in these boxes, and the RRP of all the products usually adds up to loads more than the cost of the boxes. So if you're interested, whether you're male or female looking for different products to try out, I will link Glossy Box in the description box down below, so you can head over there and have a little look. Okay, so I'm gonna finish my coffee, and then it is time for me to get packed up because I'm heading off to Leeds today. So I've got a taxi coming in about an hour's time. So I'll be getting myself all packed up and ready to go up to Leeds. Before we head off, I want to show you the roof garden today and show you how lovely it is outside. I think spring is finally starting to arrive. We've had some blue skies today. Usually around this time of year, I would do a bit of a tidy up out on the roof garden, but we're actually going to need to use this space for storage while the renovations are happening on the loft. So all I will be doing at some point is moving everything to the far end and trying to create a bit of space out here. nearly half past five and it's still daylight which makes me very happy look at this i've been coming here for well since last autumn i suppose like since september time and it's been a while since i've been here at this time of day when it's been daylight so it's lovely to see i'm really happy that the evenings are getting lighter now all right i'm gonna go and get my train I've just got to the hotel and this evening I'm taking part in a Zoom workshop with the Mr. Men who I'm working with over on Instagram. I'm sure all of you know who the Mr. Men and the Little Miss characters are. Maybe you remember them from your childhood even. And they've got five brand new characters and there's a vote to choose who's going to be the new Mr. Man and Little Miss. So this evening I'm taking part in a workshop with them to actually do a painting of the five new characters which should be good fun. And my finished painting will be up on my Instagram feed as well by the time this video goes up I think so you'll be able to see it over there. I'm following a tutorial and this is how I'm getting on. I drew around my hairspray can to get the circles and yeah it's coming on all right I think. Another cold and rainy night without you lying by my side I can't sleep already tried but still I dream away thinking about the way it was but baby just the two of us we had it all, but we got lost with nothing left to say. Days turned into months. You're still the one I want. But I carry on, yeah. With all the memories live inside of me. Even when you're gone. How I miss the sun. Be missing all the fun. all done what do we think i'm pleased with that i feel like once you put the marker pen on it they really come to life don't they so yeah these are five of the new um what well, potential new mr men on little misses they're doing a vote on their website so yeah that's exciting and i think who's my favorite maybe this guy this is mr brilliant and he likes painting right i'm gonna jump in the shower get my fake tan on and i'll see you tomorrow you think about me now and then
good morning. It's Friday morning. It is a drizzly day today. Looking very grey out there. But never mind. I've been up early shooting in the shower. <laughs> I had to film a little bit in the shower for the show today because we are showing a shampoo bar. So I was testing that out and filming a bit of footage for the show. And I've just got dressed. I've just gone downstairs to get some breakfast, which I'm about to have. And yeah, looking forward to doing the show today. This is what I've gone for. Scrambled eggs, baked beans, a slice of brown toast and a coffee. So I've just done my rehearsals, which went well. I've just popped to Tesco to get an emergency banana. And the show is in about, well, the show's starting now, but I'm on in about an hour and a half. So I'm gonna get on with some emails. All done. I've had a bit of a hair mare today. Look at it. You know, it just doesn't go right, but we just go with it anyway. I don't know what that is. I look a bit like one of the Mr. Man characters that I was painting, this strange situation. It was a fun show today. I got to ride on a very small Range Rover suitcase, which was delightful. And now it's time to pack up and get out of here. And look, who's popped out to say hi. They're starting to anyway. In a couple of days, doesn't take long, does it? But anyway, I'm going to end the vlog here. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I'm absolutely pooped. So I think I'm gonna get an early night tonight. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, do give it a little thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new for brand new videos every single week. And you can always catch me over on Instagram. It's Mr. Carrington or Mr. Carrington Home. And if you do pop over there for the first time, make sure you do say hello as well and let me know that you've popped over from YouTube. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.